Someone's shooting at us! Well, if they weren't, we wouldn't be at AK-47 Stadium here in Hexron, Texas. Bring your body armor to the stadium or wear a body bag for the ride home in the hearse. Today's matchup is going to be complete mayhem. The teams are taking the field. The Galaxy Chaos face off against the Hexon Oilers. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. The paddy wagons in the parking lots are full. The familiar scent of bodily fluids in the air. And the men's room is both flooding and on fire. And that means NFL game day is on the air. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzer along with Bricks and Bricks Jr. Man, last week some mutant let out a lava blast in one of the stalls in the men's room. Place went up like an oil rig. Flames and explosions. Water shooting out of where the toilets were. <laughs> I electrocuted myself using the electric hand dryer. I wish they had paper towels at least as an option. They go to the ground game and pick up the first. Nicely done. And it's first and ten. Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice, Grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. First down and six. And he runs it in for the touchdown. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. The kick is good. And as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. First and ten. And the defense gets the quarterback for a sack. <laughs> Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner.
third down, and the QB is saying his prayers. Four yards on that one, and he was just starting to pick up some speed. Hey, Grim, I know a guy if that's what you're after. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is superb, Grim. That cross pitching, unbelievable. He's got the ball now and is going to try and score. Oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant meat. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. In a fight between King Kong and Godzilla, the player on Roy Rage would win. should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kicker. Ma, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned out the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. First and ten. <laughs> Second down in a very lot. Crusher right there, folks. And it's first and ten. Like he just ran into the line at the DMV. And guess what, Grim? That line ain't moving. Yeah, that was kind of my point, Bricks. Second down and ten. Dirty trick. The quarterback unleashes a rocket and creates a sonic blast across the field to everyone but his receiver. Holy! And that is caught for a first down. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Pickup of about three on that play. Second down and seven. Whoa. And the defense puts one over on the quarterback with a sticky ball dirty trick. The only thing the QB can do now. Oh, he just got crushed. down and well good and the QB might as well just bury himself now because this guy's full on berserk or at least he could set himself on fire oh the unstoppable force meets the explodable object he broke free and has open field in front of him Actually, I think he's talking about the time warp dirty trick that the defense just played. 
Still a dumbass, though. Ah, yes. You can tell this one must have just ended and burst forth from the chest of a wonderful chorus dancer. Should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. Oh, what a brutal hit! First and ten. First down! And this guy is a stud, Bricks. You're telling me! Nice run! No, I mean, he's a real stud. He works at the Mutant Stud Farm weekends and summers. Call man about a six-yard gain. Hey, do me a favor. If my parole officer calls, I was... That's the end of the first quarter, and it's still anyone's game. Oh, oh, could it be mine? And that'll be second down and four. Man, what a hit that was. Third and two. Just some good old downhill running there as he picks up the first down. And it's first and ten. Oh, and the quarterback threads the needle for a first down. First down and three. And into the end zone with a burst of speed. And I think he's walking down his guy to the speed thing, Fred. He's running from his team. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Straight through the uprights. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. First and ten. And he pounds the ball into the defense, picking up seven. Second and three. Oh, here goes. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got that mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to bite it. And it's first and ten. hit that was and that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size because he just walked all over him and it's first and ten
You don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It's good. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. First and ten. And he laterals at the last second. Nifty move there. Boom! And it's first and ten. Whenever a player gets big like this, it reminds me of that Tom Hanks movie. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. Oh, nice hit! Third down and five. First and ten. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nice. If you get one more bullshit pounding, you get one more for free. You also probably lose the game. Just do the attack ref dirty trick. First. And the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. <laughs> first down and forever. It's the two-minute warning. You know what that means? Whiskey? Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. Well, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a peck ahead. Catch the ball, asshole. Hey, asshole up here. Talking to you. The defense calls timeout. They must be trying to get on their QB's good side. For a kick this far, you just got to kick it as hard as you can, partner. And aim. It's really important from this distance. It's probably a smart idea. Straight through the uprights. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It, it means he can return it for... You know what? Never mind. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Not much 
there and maybe a yard. The quarterback is controlling the clock right now like the clock is into it. He just clock blocked the clock. Second down and nine. And he picks up about six on the play. And timeouts are kind of like condoms, you know, Grim? You got to use them smart if you want to score. Let's see if they did. And the hurry-up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. Now he the defense calls a timeout to stop the clock. They have two left. It's all about who can control the line of scrimmage on these short yardage fourth down plays. Usually it's the guy with the biggest. And the runner is moving crazy fast. Look at the path he's taking up field. Yeah, he's taking the psychopath, Graham. Just make that up yourself. Yeah. Pretty good. Pretty good, Briggs. Thanks. And the quarterback signals for a hurry up offense. Hey, Graham, what's the hurry up offense? There's no huddle. The offense calls plays at the line of scrimmage and plays really fast. It looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. You gotta keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You gotta make that catch. And the offense goes into a hurry up to pick up the pace of the game. I'm pretty sure my baby sister can throw further than that. But she doesn't have to play against goddamn monsters. They use their second timeout, but they are running out of time. I'm a bit pessimistic, don't you think so, Grim? It's more about building tension, Bricks. That's all we do at this point, and drink this bourbon. Come on, give me that. <laughs> and he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had so long today. Looks like it's a good fit. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the halftime show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered frankenfood you'll have fun trying to identify. Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed the carnage during today's halftime show. Obviously, they need to play a lot harder here in the second half to make a game of it. Or they can start cheating and killing. That's what I do. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. Seven yards on that run. Second and three. Oh my gosh! The defense. Oh man, what a throw! And Sonic Blast, boom, dead and down. He delivered the freaky fast ham sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm gonna go grab one. You want anything? No, still working on my salami here, Briggs. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, nah, didn't work that time. It was close, though. Yep. <laughs> oh, and the defense just called a time warp dirty trick. And now it's like everything that just happened didn't. Get Brick's mom on the phone quick. I want to use 13,000 of those time warps and undo a mistake she did about 35 years ago. If you don't hear it coming, it'll knock you right on your ass. It's called a catch the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. 
And it's first and ten. The defense calls a sticky ball dirty trick. The quarterback can't dump it. And now they're going to dump his ass. See that move, baby? I'm the greatest. No, you didn't see that because I'm too fast. <laughs> Second down in a mile. Oh, great tackle. When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about bad hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. Third down and the punt. Oh, this berserk dirty trick ain't fair for the QB. It's like inviting a game. He just put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? The boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. And it's first and ten. That ball just sliced through the defense like butter. I wish defenses were made out of butter. That'd be fantastic. He's not going down. And here comes the extra point attempt. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. And it's first and ten. And he laterals the ball. Man, these guys like... And he rumbles for nine on that play. And that'll bring up second and one. And he'll pick up the first down with a nice piece of running there. And it's first and ten. Nice pickup for six yards. And that'll be second down and four. Oh, sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. And it's first and ten. Either way, they're going for two. And the defense stops him cold. That play just got blown to hell. Yeah, he got blown to shit. Speaking of blow, where's my little mile? When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Yeah, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. First and ten. Call man about a six-yard gain. Hey, do me a favor. If my parole officer calls, I was with you last night, Bricks. 
No problem. I spent the night in lockup for solicitation. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. And it's first and ten. Up five on that play. Second down and five. for the extra point. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. First and ten. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had shown on today. Looks like it's a good fit. And he picks up about six on the play. That'll be second down and four. First down! I see this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. Oh, with the punishing hit! The third quarter has ended, and we'll need a huge rally or a high death toll to make this one interesting. First down and one. Second and three. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Straight through the uprights. Looks like they're lined up for an onside kick. First and ten. And he'll pick up seven yards on that play. Second and three. First down. 
down. Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. And it's first and ten. That ball was almost intercepted. Second down and ten. Oh, devastating hit. You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep. Third grade. Sister Mary Margaret of Our Ladies of Holy Hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. And he was steering a pick six, but dropped the interception. And it plays a defense. Schmuck. He's got the distance, and the kick is good! The teams are lined up for the kickoff. They're going to be able to return this one. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. And it's first and ten. And that'll be a first down. You know, Bricks, a lot of people have gotten pass happy in this league. Nice to see some old school mano a mano on the turf, huh? And it's first and ten. for two. Whoa, and he landed and he plows forward for the two-point conversion. In his galaxy, Amish five, dancing is prohibited by penalty and public stoning. So he really enjoys getting a chance to show off his stuff. He can strut. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Threads. Their marketing team hates it. And it's first and ten. Second down and a lot. Roid rage. Because if you can't answer your question with violence, ask you've got to catch that. Third down and long. First down, so now they have to punt. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a return. Nice catch, and he turns on the afterburners. Punt returners, and oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. Oh, and he looks like he just 
saw 400 scary movies after that hit. It sounds like my off season. And it's first and ten. One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. And it's first and ten. And that'll bring us to the two-minute warning. It's do or die now. And it's first and ten. This guy's going to get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. Second down and ten. And he zips that one in there for a touchdown. I can't count the women in the stands are shrieking in terror or cheering. <laughs> it's an alien, Bricks. I'm sure he loves both equally. <laughs> Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double-stop burrito from Taco Hell. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. Nice pickup for six yards. And that'll be second down and four. I personally think the ginormous guy is compensating for something, but I won't be the one to tell him. And the quarterback finds his man for the first down. And it's first and ten. And that's some good old-fashioned downhill running as he picks up nine yards on the play. And that'll bring up second and one. And this field goal is certainly within the kicker's range. It's good. The Hickson Oilers win the game today. It was a hell of a battle, and they had just enough to cross the finish line. The thing that got juiced at halftime. I want to get juiced now after listening to you two the entire game. Listen up, guys. The MVP is about to speak. Once again, the folks at Eagle SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.